Hi, my name's Ollie Beckinsale um, and I was a free time Olympian mountain bike cyclist. I stopped racing about five years ago, need a bit of a new challenge. Uh, so I've entered Ironman 70.3 Mallorca in May. First things first, need to get myself sorted with the fastest bike I can and a proper bike fit. So I'm down at BW Cycling today to get fitted with Andy Wadsworth and look at some bike options. So at BW Cycling, there's plenty of TT options. Two we're gonna look at, the Argon and the Cervelo, and we're gonna start with the Cervelo today and do a fitting on that one. Okay, so at BW Cycling, we always start every bike fit with doing some flexibility and functional movement tests. So we're just gonna start off with a hamstring stretch first of all. And then we'll just come up through the hips as well. That's good, okay. Okay, so here we are, we've got Ollie on the bike now. Uh, we've tested his flexibility and his core functional movement. So we're now doing some pedaling and we're gonna start filming him on the bike and then we'll have a look at the angles and the position and see what we've got. This is our starting point. This is how he's coming with the bike. So we'll see where we go from here. Okay, so we've done uh, a bit of pedaling with Ollie on the bike and we're now gonna look at his position here on the screen. So first of all, we can find out that his knee is actually too far over the pedal axle here. That's gonna cause problems when it gets to the run of the triathlon. And uh, we don't want any pain or discomfort. We're a little bit too long. On here, we'd like to be between 140 and 145. It's just a little bit too long here, so we're gonna shorten the crank so he's not reaching as far and lower the saddle. And when we come up to the top of the pedal stroke in here, we'd like this angle to be as big as possible, especially as we know that Ollie has got a previous hip injury with some screws in the hip. Through to a plank angle here, we'd like this angle to be between 90 and 110. We're just stretching out too far here. It's gonna start struggling in the shoulder area and the lower back. So we're gonna shorten these angles by adjusting the stem and also bring him a little bit higher up so he can actually see where he's going. Okay, so we've now got Ollie into a far better position for his triathlon. Uh, first of all, we've changed the seat. We've gone for a more tri-specific seat. This is the old one, gone for the new one here. Um, we've changed the crank length. We've gone down to a 170 rather than a 175, so he's got a, uh, bigger angles at the top of the pedal stroke. We've also lifted the front end, made his stem shorter, but everything's sweeped back towards him, so we get a nice compact position and feel like he's got some power and he'll be able to get off the bike and do some running. Okay, so what we've done now is we've re-recorded Ollie. We're gonna look now and see what's happening on the screen. Uh, we're getting a lot closer to the pedal axle with this uh, first line there, uh, which is gonna be far better for his knees and his health for training. Then we look at the length of the uh, the, the uh, maximum leg angle here we're at 144, which is great. He's comfortable, he can look forward, we can see what his neck's doing. That's gonna be a far more comfortable position for him to get into. He'll be able to train it and hold that position for long periods of time. So there we are, we finished Ollie's bike fit. If anybody'd like to come and see us for a bike fit, whether it's triathlon, normal road cycling, mountain biking, we do bike fits on any types of bikes. It takes about 90 minutes to do a proper thorough bike fit. Go to our website, bwcycling.co.uk or give us a call and we'll get you booked in.